I'm very pleased to be introducing Adam Pol Polisic, and uh, he is the Chief Product Officer for Commerce Signals. Thank you for your time. Thanks so much for having me. So tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get to where you are today? Thanks. Yeah, so I've never intended to ever be a data person or a researcher. So my background was originally in private equity, but through the years as startups became the rise, I started playing closer and closer to different things, like originally social media analytics at a company called Buzzmetrics that eventually was acquired by Nielsen, and then went on to work a number of roles for Nielsen in a global capacity, most recently in London. And then the business after that was a company called Nielsen Catalina Solutions, which is a business that aggregated CPG or consumer packaged goods sales information for most of the large grocery and drugstores. So if you were in private equity, you were probably used to working with a lot of data because there's a lot of financial data to make decisions. How did you use data there and has any of the data that you used in that part of your career applicable to what you're doing now? Well, I, I think in, in many circumstances it's the same questions. I just don't know if my human limitations could do the same things we do today. In, in private equity, I was considering how big a market might be, how fast the trends are changing. Ultimately, if I thought that a certain product or service would meet the demands as best expressed, and of course we observed things even back then, like how people were spending money or how they were spending their time on various forms of media, clearly not as digital at the time when I was doing private equity. Fast forward you know, a decade and a half where we are today, you know, orders and orders of magnitude of data are more accessible. And so because of that, you know, there is machines that mimic the same behaviors that I was evaluating, such as, you know, is this a market that you can address with your product or service? It just happens in fractions of seconds, and the decision point then becomes things like, should I give you an advertisement to influence your behavior? Tell me about Commerce Signal. Sure. Commerce Signals works with large data companies who want to precisely permission their data for things like advertising and marketing. And what that means in literal terms is there's a lot of really exciting and tremendous companies that have aggregated large mountains of insights, but their businesses are primarily a different focus than things like providing those insights even in aggregate to advertisers and marketers. Commerce Signals acts as the permission and handshake layer between those very granular but large behavioral data sets and very fast paced and constantly evolving advertisers and marketers. How does this data empower both sides? Yeah, great question. Today, the supply sources we're working with are large financial institutions. People like Visa, who have already been progressively working in the advertiser network but want to provide a credible way for advertisers to answer the question, did it work? in a very privacy compliant way. On the other side of that a question, of course, like publishers to the likes of you know, large music streaming companies or large portals that are trying to answer those very questions on behalf of their advertisers. What type of data do you collect and how do you translate it into media terms? Great question. Today, Commerce Singles actually doesn't collect any data. We actually go directly to the source of large aggregated data and ask them the question about how they want to permission that data to be used. One of the common misconceptions is that data actually has to be collected in order to be enabled. But our thesis is that we can actually go to the source and present that data in a very transparent exchange without needing to move any of that data into a third party environment. So what do we do? So, yeah, how exactly do you treat the data? If the data is sitting there, you're working with a company that owns the data. What do you do? Sure. We work in very tight collaboration to take unstructured but very valuable data and fit it to the type of templates that advertisers are asking for. So if someone who happens to have a large percentage of a particular buying behavior, like how you shop at quick serve restaurants, can now take that data and instantaneously turn that directly into an ad measurement capability. Commerce Signal's role in that is to empower the data provider to directly deliver something like ad optimization or ad measurement or potentially offer insights into different segmentations of advertising audiences.